Kim Kardashian is said to be furious over Kanye West's violent music video where he buries acclamation Pete Davidson alive. Kim Kardashian is reportedly furious over Kanye West's easy music video, which shows the rapper seemingly burying her beau Pete Davidson alive. Kim thinks it's way too violent and is upset, a source told People on Friday. She's really upset with Kanye that he do this. She's completely over all of this and she wants it to stop. Kanye shared the bizarre new music video on Tuesday, where a clay animated version of Kanye kidnapped Acclamation Pete and threw a bag over his head before tying him up and throwing him on the back of an all-terrain vehicle. The cartoon Kanye then buried Pete alive, keeping his head above the dirt and growing roses on it. Kanye ended the clip with a direct message to the Saturday Night Live star, everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet before crossing out the name and writing you know who. Kanye continually refers to Pete as Skeet as a disparaging nickname, though the meaning of moniker remains unclear. In the song West is also heard taking shots at Pete as he raps, God saved me from the crash, just so I can be Pete Davidson's A. Kanye has since removed the music video, which premiered Tuesday, from his Instagram page. People's source also claimed that Kim cannot grasp how her strange husband can create violent content for all to see but make a fuss about their daughter North, 8, having a TikTok account. He previously voiced that North was on the app against, his, will. Kim, doesn't understand how Kanye can get upset about North being on TikTok yet he can put out these kinds of videos. It makes no sense to her, the source explained. Regardless of the drama. The insider stressed that the scheme's founder's number one concern right now is making sure that her children are protected from the situation because everything plays out in the public eye and that's very difficult when there are children involved. She is very angry about the violence and she just feels that it's inappropriate and wrong. She shares North, as well as Chicago, 4, Saint, 6, and Psalm, 2, with Kanye. Kim subtly supported her Bo Peet soon after the release of West's disturbing music video by liking a post made by filmmaker James Gunn. The 55-year-old The Suicide Squad director, who directed Pete in the DC film released in 2021, seemingly injected himself into the fray with a tweet calling the SNL star one of the nicest, sweetest guy. Kim proceeded to click like on the complimentary social media post which added that the Staten Island native was a respectful and truly generous, tender and funny spirit. The Keeping Up With The Kardashians star began dating Pete after she hosted SNL on October 9. Just one day after Kanye released Easy, Kim was declared legally single by a judge, a move vehemently opposed by the rapper, on Wednesday. Judge Steve Cochran also granted her request to have her maiden name restored, and he denied West's motion to prevent Kim from transferring assets out of trusts set up during the marriage. The feuding couple, both billionaires, had their high-powered attorneys in court Wednesday, Laura Wasser for Kim and Samantha Spector for Kanye. Spector was only appointed Tuesday night after West fired his previous lawyer which was his fourth. Kim has since removed West from all of her social media handles, including her Instagram account that boasts nearly 290 million followers. On Friday, the Cow Callum focused on happier times by sharing a slew of throwback snapshots featuring her older sister Courtney, 42, and her younger sister Chloe, 37. Dash Dolls, captioned Kim, who could be seen sticking her tongue out at the camera while her sisters posed playfully.
Native was a respectful and truly generous, tender and funny spirit. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians star began dating Pete after she hosted SNL on October 9. Just one day after Kanye released Easy, Kim was declared legally single by a judge, a move vehemently opposed by the rapper, on Wednesday. Judge Steve Cochran also granted her request to have her maiden name restored, and he denied West's motion to prevent Kim from transferring assets out of trusts set up during the marriage. The feuding couple, both billionaires, had their high-powered attorneys in court Wednesday, Laura Wasser for Kim and Samantha Spector for Kanye. 